Hello to all you access advisors out there. Today, we've not got an accessibility review, but I'm bringing you some urgent news. I'm reading this from the website of Wheelchair Alliance, wheelchair-alliance.co.uk. It says here, the Wheelchair Alliance, a community interest company which champions the needs of wheelchair users across England, is urgently calling on all powered wheelchair users to complete a vital survey to help it raise concerns over a recent change in class. This call to action follows significant concerns on the categorization of wheelchairs following the Department for Transport's updated guidance linked to legislation around the use of powered chairs. The issue was first brought to the attention of the Alliance via engagement with its membership. And they highlighted that the updated guidelines state that powered wheelchairs over the 150 kilogram weight that's 200 kilograms if you've got medical add-ons, will be changing its classification to not in class. And what does that mean? Well, this means such a change in classification would mean that powered wheelchairs in this category can only be used on the road. It cannot be used on pavements, pedestrian areas, cycle tracks or cycle lanes. Uh, wheelchairs must be registered with the DVLA and the user must hold a valid driving license. The article goes on to say that as a result, the Alliance has been quick to take action, sending an open letter to the Right Honourable Louise Haig, Secretary of State for Transport, highlighting, the, these, highlighting these concerns. The Alliance then approached other charities working with wheelchair users and their carers to see if they were aware of these changes. And they had a subsequent roundtable meeting on a, October the 18th. And they had representatives of WizKids, Spinal Injuries Association, BLESMA Backup Trust, Duchenne's UK, MND Association, the Motability Foundation and the Kent and Medway Integrated Care Board Wheelchair Service Commissioner to discuss the impact of these changes. After that meeting, they've decided that more data is needed around us power wheelchair users so they can truly assess the impact of the new changes. So this is funded by the Motability Foundation and the Wheelchair Alliance is coordinating this survey and encourages all powered wheelchair users to take this opportunity to have your say. It says the updated guidelines could impact so many wheelchair users and it's terrifying to think that there are possibly many who are actually breaking the law without realising. For example, there'll be children and young people who are not old enough to have a driving licence but require a powered wheelchair. And that was a quote from Nick Golder, Chair and Chief Operating Officer of the Wheelchair Alliance. He goes on to say, not only will the results allow us to gain a better understanding of how and where powered wheelchairs are being used, it will also give wheelchair users the opportunity to tell us how much they know about this guidance. So if you're a powered wheelchair user in England, please take time to complete the survey. It will give us the perfect opportunity for you to have your say and takes less than 10 minutes to complete. I've only just come across this article today and it says that the survey closes today, but hopefully, and I've put a request in that they extend it. So if this is late getting to you, please check the link that I'm putting in the video, cut and paste the link, please go there. And if there's still time, and I hope they extend it, you'll be able to fill out and complete the survey. It's really important. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon.